Hello everyone, welcome back to Babli. Today in this video, we are going to see how to send India Mart leads to other application using API by Babli. So here my objective is that whenever a new lead is received through India Mart, then the details of that particular lead should be sent to other applications which are not natively integrated with Pabli Connect. And for that, I'm going to use a feature of Pabli Connect which is API by Pabli. Pabli Connect works on two principles. First is trigger and second is action. Here my trigger application is India Mart and my action application will be API by Pabli. To learn how to do this, let me take you to my screen. In this video, we are going to see how to send India Mart lead details to other applications by using API by Pabli. So the applications which are not natively connected with Pabli Connect, we can do that with the help of API by Pabli. And for that, I'm going to use Pabli Connect which will help me to automate this entire process. And as you can see over here, this is the landing page of the software. On my right hand side, you can see two options over here, sign in and sign up free. If you are an existing user, then simply click on sign in. But if you're a new user, then please click on this tab sign up free. It won't take more than two minutes. And yes, you will also get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm simply going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user. And here we have reached all Pabli application page. Now let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. If you want to create a new folder, then simply click on this icon and create a new folder. As I want to create a new folder for my new workflow, so I'm simply going to click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name the folder. So I'm going to name my folder as Automations for India Mart. Now let's click on create. And as you can see over here that we have successfully created a folder named as automations for India Mart. Again on my right hand side you can see a tab named as create workflow. Let's click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared which is asking us to name the workflow. So I'm going to name my workflow as India Mart automation. And as you can see over here that I've selected the folder named as automations for India Mart which I've created just now. By clicking on this drop down over here you will find all the folders which you have created earlier. Now let's click on create. So as we do that here we have reached another window which has got us to extremely important events. First is trigger and second is action. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically action here is the response of your trigger application. And now my trigger application is going to be India Mart. Let's click on this. And now we have to select a trigger event. This is the event which will make your workflow start. Let's click on this and I'm going to select new leads and it says triggers when a new lead captured. Let's select this. After that click on connect. And now to connect our India Mart account, we are going to add a new connection. But if you have an existing connection, please select existing connection. Now to add a new connection, we have to enter the CRM key over here. And to enter the CRM key, we have to log in into our India Mart account. So log in into your India Mart account. And after that, go to settings from the left bar. Now after coming on the settings page, go to account settings. And in account settings, you will find an option CRM API. Click on this. And after that, you can see that I have generated my API key. And if you have not generated your API key, then you can do that by simply clicking on this button, generate key. Now copy this API key from here. And after that, go to your public connect account and then paste it over here. After that, click on save. And we have successfully connected our India Mart account with our Public Connect account. And as you can see that we have a polling time of 24 hours. And now we have to click on save and send test request. And as we do that, the details of the last lead or the most recent lead, which we have received on our India Mart account, the details of that lead would be received as a response here in our Public Connect account. So let's click on save and send test request. And as you can see over here that we have successfully received a response and here we have received the lead details and the subject line is requirement for 1k watt commercial on grid solar power system unique query id the state is madhya pradesh and the name is demo user mobile number is this email address is demo at the rate pablitudes.com and we have successfully received all the required details and we have successfully set up our trigger application and now my action application is going to be API by Pabli, let's click on this. And here API by Pabli will act as a bridge between other applications and Pabli Connect. Now we have to select an action event. Let's click on this and I'm going to select execute API request and it says execute API requests such as get, post, put, patch and delete. Let's select this and after that click on connect. 
and now to set up our action application we have to enter all these details over here and for that i'm going to take an example of miller light but if you want to take an example of any other application so you can do that so now let's move ahead we have to select an action event method over here and for that i'm selecting post over here and it says send data to be processed by the api request i'm going to select this and now we have to select api endpoint url and it says enter the api endpoint url for the api request you can add query parameters over here and for that click on this so let me take you to miller light developers website and here in api reference go to subscribers and after that go to create or upload subscriber and here you will find the link for endpoint url so i'm simply going to copy this link from here and after that i'm going to paste it here now we have to select payload type so i'm selecting my payload type as json and after that we have to select the authentication let's click on this and here you will find three options no oath basic oath and bearer token so let's go to mail light developer website again and after that go to getting started and here in getting started go to authentication so my authentication is bearer token so i'm going to select bearer token over here and after that we have to enter the bearer token and we'll find this bearer token in our mail light account so let me take you to my mail light account and here in the mail light account go to integrations and here you will find api and integrations click on use and after that click on generate new token and here we have to create a new api token and for that we have to enter a token name so i'm going to enter this token name as api key after that agree on this and it says i have read and understood the api token requirements and set out in the terms of use after that click on create token and as you can see over here that we have generated a new token and you can also download this api token by clicking on this download i'm simply going to copy this token from here and after that i'm going to paste it here in my public connect account now let's move ahead and here it says add headers set parameters and now to set parameters let me take you to mail light developer website again and go to subscribers again after that click on create or upload subscriber and here in create or upload subscriber you will find all the parameters email fields groups status subscribed at ap address opted in at opt in ip unsubscribed at and now to add a parameter let's click on this and now firstly we have to enter this label over here and for this particular label we have to enter the value and for that i'm going to copy this from here and after that i'm adding a label as email and now to enter this value for this label i'm going to use a method called as mapping basically mapping means to insert the data from the previous step let's click on this and i'm going to map this email address from the response which i have received through india mart response and after that i'm going to add another parameter which will be status let's copy this from here and after that paste it here in our public connect account and now our status should be active so let's copy this active from here and after that enter the value for this label status as active and now i'm going to click on save and send test request and as you can see over here we have received a positive response status is active email address is demo at the rate pablitudes.com and as you can see over here that we have received all the other details as well and now let's go to our mail light account and check whether we have added a subscriber or not and as you can see over here we have successfully added a subscriber over here and now the total subscribers are eight and here is the email address of our subscriber which is demo at the rate pablitudes.com which means we have successfully set up our india mart account with our mailer light account with the help of api by pabli let's go to our pabli connect account so as we have successfully set up our trigger and action application and it was a successful workflow so let's summarize this quickly here my trigger application is india mart and my trigger event is new lead here my action application is api by pabli and my action event is execute api request hope this video was a helpful one thanks for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications with the help of pabli connect if you have any doubt then you can reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any query then you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to us at this website and if you find this video helpful in any way then do not forget to share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel to learn more such automations